What's up, y'all? We are back for Love Island episode, I want to say 9 to 12, really 9, 10, 12, because 11, I don't talk about the after sun. This season is this season is the best season. It's eating. This season is eating. But um, I didn't jot any notes down like I said I would. <laughs> so we're just going to be going off the dome again. I got the Love Island Instagram up. We're going to start just going through here, looking at all that. Um... I got some thoughts, lots of thoughts about everybody on here. This cast is crazy. <laughs> this cast is messy. Everybody involved is messy, and we're just going to talk about it. So I want to talk about the first episode, but before we do, thumbs up the video, drop a comment down below. Let me know what y'all's thoughts are. Please do that. Share the video. Interactions help so much with this channel, help so much push the video out. And it helps bring new people to me. That's what I want to do. I want to continue to bring more people to us so we can have a community. Because I'm going to be talking about Love Island games as well. So I really want to keep that going and bring more people over here. But subscribe. If you are new, please hit that subscribe bell, uh, subscribe button, and turn the post notifications on so you know when I am uploading. And yeah, we're just going to do a review style. If you don't know, that's typically what I'm doing because it's a lot of episodes. I'm a little busy. I don't really have time to really do scene by scene type of deal. But that's what we're going to do. Let's start talking about it. Let's go. All right. So I believe when we left off, the new girls came into the house. They made their picks. And Rob and Andrea, they essentially are like lusting over each other. I don't feel like they deeply in love with each other. I feel like they just got this sexual chemistry and connection. Andrea, she came into this game with a plan. And it's clear that she is here to play the game. I feel like she is sexually attracted to Rob. I feel like he is to her as well. But I feel like if she was in the show long enough, which I'm saying in the show now, because we all know what happened last night. If she was in the show long enough, I feel like if somebody came in and really pulled and turned her eyes, she would leave Rob. Like the way she acting, like the way she acted last night, I don't feel like that's genuine. But um, they had that. And then Liv and Hakeem had some random ass argument where it just came out of nowhere. Liv, I'm I was not liking her, but she kind of won me over last night. But she, they had this random ass argument about who's being petty and who's chatting. It just made no sense to me, and it came out of nowhere because it's like we never really saw the scene at all. We didn't really get much camera time of their relationship or like their of. But they was beefing. Uh, Connor and Leah end up pulling each other because Connor tells Janae that he wanted to talk to Leah. And get to know Leah because Leah is now without uh, Rob. And Janae's like, okay, whatever it is, what it is, like, do what you got to do. That's what you're here for. You're trying to experience it and whatever. So he goes and does that. But then he tells her, too, that he's going to come back and talk to her. He's not just going to, like, cut her off. He's just going to go to talk and get to know Leah, which he turned around later on and never came back and talked to her and then started doing shady shit to Janae. But Janae was sitting there talking to Aaron and Andrea getting emotional, hoping that Leah is not pretty much using him because she cares about people. And like Janae wants Connor to be treated right. And she don't want Leah to just be using him. And then again, it's crazy too, because Leah, that's your best friend in the house. Like your best friends are her and Serena low key from what we can see. So I can see where she is also upset about that too, but they get into a spat about it. Leah's trying to tell Janae that she need to grow up because that's not her boyfriend. Granted, that's not, but the same thing could be said about you because you be acting like Rob is your boyfriend. And not only that, you're her friend, so that's why she would be upset. And you trying to pretty much act like her feelings are not valid and she don't have a right to have those feelings. But you're literally her friend in the house and you're trying to get the dude that she's with. But whatever. They have their spat. Um, the kissing challenge. We're going to talk about that. The kissing challenge, Cordell and Serena, <laughs> they had, you can tell they had all this pent up sexual tension. This is where you really started to see that maybe there could be something there. Because the way they was eating on each other and licking on each other and kissing on, I was like, good Lord, get a room. Because <laughs> these two was on each other. But um, who was? Rob went down the line. Leah was excited to kiss him, obviously. Connor's shady ass was all over Leah. But then whenever he kissed um, Janae, he was acting different. The girls realized that he didn't really put all that energy into their kisses as he did with Leah. Because Leah pretty much was like raving about his. And they was like, we ain't getting none of that. But when it came time to uh, the girls going around, 
Um, I feel like the one that was the most talking worthy was Serena, not Serena, Janae. Because when Janae went and kissed Rob, I mean, not Rob, what's the nigga's name? Connor. Connor ended up giving her a terrible score. And it wasn't because he didn't like the kiss. It's because he was just trying to be petty and stuff. And that's why I don't like Connor. Connor needs to get the fuck out of here. He's the corniest nigga out of everybody. And he got Hakeem's corny ass beat. And Hakeem looked a fool too when he went up there trying to act like he was Mr. Suave. And apparently he got the worst kissing <laughs> out of everybody. Because they didn't like none of it. Especially Leah. Leah was, what did she say? Leah said that he was like a mosquito or some shit that you're trying to kill. I died when she said that. Leah got some funny humor. Even though she was irritating me, she got some funny humor. But we get introduced to Miguel. Miguel is the newest bombshell into the house, a.k.a. Zach Levine. Like, he got up in there, was kissing on all of them. Them girls was thrown off because they was like, who is this? Because we don't even know who this is. We ain't never known these lips. But they took the um, blindfolds off, saw him standing there. They all trying to get themselves together. Like, oh, shit, somebody else knew was up in here. Ooh. But, of course, they was all over him. Everybody wanted to get to know him. This is where Serena pissed me off in this one episode because they was talking to him and he was talking to him, like, I forget, somebody asked him if he wanted some food or whatever. And he was like, they over there eating eggs. Like, we'll go, I'll take some eggs or whatever. But him and Janae was having a conversation, which I was excited about because I'm like, Janae, get off Connor. Fuck him. Like, move on. So they was having a conversation and stuff. They was flirting and stuff. Janae ended up going to make him some food, like go get his eggs. But while he was, um, while she was bringing the eggs up, he was up there talking to Serena. Serena was talking to him, wasn't really talking about nothing. But when Janae comes up there with the eggs, Serena get hot, pissed. Like, not now, Janae, not now. Even though in the moment I understood where she was coming from, because I'm like, you don't want somebody interrupting you, but like, it seemed like it was a little bit deeper than that. And Janae was not, like, trying to come up there on some, like, I'm trying to steal your man type shit because that's what Liv did to her when she was talking to him. But they got into a little spat there. Serena goes downstairs and is chatting about um, Janae with Leah after Leah and Janae done had their little spat. So at this point, it looks like the two of them versus her. I didn't like that. She then ended up addressing Janae about it. Janae was apologetic. Like, she apologized for what she did. She took accountability for it. They hugged up, but it looked like to me in the moment, Serena was still trying to be upset, but I'm glad she didn't drag it out. I'm glad she didn't drag it out. That's why I said, if you drag this out, I'm going to be pissed off at you. But it gets to the point where I feel like that's enough that we need to talk about before they got to the recoupling. They got to the recoupling, but before they got to the recoupling, like Serena and Cordell was kind of like mixing it up. And you could tell in this moment, it looked like to me, Serena was trying to cling to him so she don't go home. Which I don't want that to happen because I don't want her to use Cordell and get him confused because Cordell is that dude is innocent. Like that's literally probably one of the best dudes that they've ever cast on this show. Like he's a genuine dude. And then you wouldn't think it, which I feel like that's possibly where Serena's apprehension comes from. Because with him being Odell Beckham's brother, you don't expect him to come on the show and have genuine intentions because why would he necessarily need to be here? Like, he's a Beckham. Like, if anything, he can really get what he wants. But then again, like, he's here for a reason. He's here for Cordell because he's never even mentioned Odell until he had to in that one scene. And he has not mentioned him since then. And I love that about him. I love the fact that he's not using his brother as a as a way to pull girls in. Like, he's literally trying himself. Of course, he's young. And his conversation is not as mature. But he's young. He's 21 years old. Like, I feel like he's growing up, too. But I love he feel like he's growing with the show. I feel like he's growing with the show which I love, but Serena's now telling him that she feel like it's not like the friendship type of deal is not looking like it's a friendship couple anymore. It's, she's seeming to have a little bit more chemistry with him and starting to look at him in a different way because she feels like whenever he was away from her, she started to realize that she actually likes him. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, but I'm going to take it as face value and hope that she is being genuine about it because I don't want her to break his heart. But he pretty much goes and talks to the, talks to the boys about that and then them niggas are sitting there trying to like Tell him she playing him. And I feel like they're not really doing that to benefit him. And I really feel like that after watching last night's episode. Because them niggas don't like black women. They don't. They was trying to get him to literally pick Hannah over Serena. When Cordell and Hannah ain't got no chemistry, there's no point in him picking her. Like, if Serena's giving him a little bit of attention, there's a possibility there's a door, there's a window. They, they could possibly work something out. He's not interested in Hannah. Hannah needed to go home. And eventually that's what happened. Like it came down between Serena and Hannah and everybody else was upset that Serena didn't go except for Janae and Leah. 
And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Like, y'all don't want the black, y'all want the black girls to go home really, really bad. And it was confirmed last night. But after that, we move on to the episode from last night. Last night's episode was crazy. And I should have wrote notes down <laughs> because it was a lot. But I promise you, the next recap, I'm going to write notes down. I'm looking at the page now. Uh, Connor and Leah. Leah told uh, Serena that she does not like Connor like that. Like, she, now that she got him, she don't want him. <laughs> like, and Serena clocked her and was like, you are the type of person, you like toxic relationships. You like the men that, you like the men that you're worried about if they're going to leave you or not. Once you have somebody that's safe and actually is all about you, you don't want it because you get bored. And she clocked that. They called Janae over to talk about it. She said it to her. They all died laughing. That shit was hilarious to me. They have like this fake type of friendship. It's like they like each other, but they don't like each other. I'm talking about all three of them. But whatever, it works. They're entertaining to me. But then we get to Liv and Miguel. They kissing. They all over each other. In this moment, it seems like they possibly could like each other. Me, I feel like Liv is a production plan as Tammy Talks. Shout out to Tammy Talks. As she said, I feel like she's put there for a purpose, which is to start drama and to mess stuff up. I didn't like Liv all the way up until last night, <laughs> but I like her. But Miguel seemed like he was all about her at one point. But then Nicole, who was coming up with Kendall, gets pulled by Miguel. They start chopping it up. She's sitting there smirking and like blushing and like leaning in on him when they out there on the dock. And I'm sitting there telling my sister, I'm like, she is giving him verbal cues that she wants that kiss. Like, she's leaning in on him, putting her hand on his leg, like leaning in. I'm like, if you don't read them cues and kiss that girl, and sure enough, he did. <laughs> and I like it, too, because it's funny because Kendall is downstairs dancing and shit, talking about he's good and da 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 He's talking about he's sexy. Meanwhile, Miguel over here snatching your girl. <laughs> I was dying. But I skipped over the challenge, which I want to talk about that, because this was the messy challenge where they was asking all these questions. Talking about who's the fakest and who's the toxic couple. The toxic couple question was Serena and Cordell's question. And Serena went through the, the drink in uh, Connor and Leah's face because they are the most toxic couple. And it's true. Leah didn't like it, but it was true. Then they started talking about um, who's the fakest or whatever. And there was another question. I, uh, Kayla's question was like, um, what was her question? Her question was like, who what couple do you feel is like half in half out like somebody likes the couple likes the person a lot less than the other person likes them and she went through it in uh connor and leah's face and it was funny because leah was like who do you feel is the one that's more out and she, <laughs> and they was like you and she started laughing and like oh no not me we all knew it and she did that on purpose i feel like she's being messy by doing that because Connor looked like a fool and he wanted to look like a fool. He didn't want to look like a fool, but he looked like a fool. And I love the fact that he looked like a fool because he was being shady with Janae, like certain questions. He was literally like directing at her, talking slick to her. And I'm glad she was giving it back to him. I'm glad everybody else was throwing shit in their face. Uh, Liv was getting him together. I loved it. I loved it. But then we get back to the house. I want to talk about that conversation that Janae and Connor did have where he was sitting there trying to act like he did nothing wrong. And she's pretty much addressing him saying like, how you said that she was going to have a conversation with me. Like you wasn't going to just like leave me without really closing things off. Or at least you made it seem like you was going to try and get to know Leah, but not like cut me off. And that's exactly what he did. And she cut it. She, she laid in his ass and gave it to him. And I was happy. I'm like, it's so refreshing to see, a woman, especially a black woman on this show, stand on all 10. And she stood on all 10 and checked his ass. But as that was happening, Ariana comes out there and lets him know that it's time for the first vote. Because as we all know, America was voting for their favorite and least favorite, well, their favorite couple. And the bottom three couples were Hakeem and Janae. I feel like if Janae was attached to anybody else, she wouldn't have been in the bottom three. Hakeem, don't nobody like Hakeem. Nicole and Kendall. Ken, Nicole is a new, a newer girl. Kendall is not really, in my opinion, I don't see he's a favorite looking at social media. And then Rob and Andrea are the least favorite couple. And it's true. They are. Don't nobody like either one of them. But it came down to the girls got to vote for the girl that they want to send home. And the guys got to vote for the guy that they wanted to send home, which was different. And I like that because normally it's the girl voting for the guy to go home and the guy voting for the girl to go home. So the guys are over there and they decided to vote out Hakeem, which we all knew was going to happen. Like Hakeem out of the other two, the other two are OGs. Hakeem 
just came and I feel like he didn't have enough of a connection with the boys to even be able to sway their vote. So they vote Hakeem out. And that's when I knew they voted him out because of that. But I really feel like they voted him out with an ulterior motive to want to hope that the girls would vote out Janae. I love that that happened because Serena, whenever Serena, because Serena was crying the whole time. This is when Serena really won me back because she was protecting Janae. She told Cordell, don't you vote her out. So, and Cordell's going to take anything that Serena says, he's going to do it. So Cordell did what he needed to do. But it came down to the girls and the girls immediately, whenever they was deliberating, it was like, we are not sending Janae home. I said, stick with the OGs. So Janae did not get voted out. It came down to Nicole and Andrea. And I knew it was going to be Andrea to go home because like Nicole has connections. Andrea found her connection, supposedly. And that's what happened. Because whenever they revealed the votes, Andrea started crying and it took her 15 minutes to actually produce a tear. But she goes home, Rob gets up, starts crying, screaming, and starts going off on the girls because they voted her out because he wanted Janae to go home. And then fucking stupid ass Aaron, who shouldn't even be there because you're not a U.S. citizen. I, and I have nothing wrong with foreigners, but I feel like they shouldn't be on the show. This is not Love Island all. <laughs> like, this is Love Island USA. And I feel the same way about all of them, like even with um, Liv and Miguel, but I don't have no problem with Liv no more. But they start going off on the girls and the girls is like, oh, fuck you. Like, what did, we did what we supposed to do. Like, we didn't want to send anybody home, but we had to make a decision. Like, we feel like Janae is here for love and she's trying to find love. And I was like, exactly. Nicole has her options and she's trying to figure it out. Y'all sitting here talking, Rob talking, I came here to find love. Well, you found it. Get the fuck out of here. Bye. Like, you and Andrea found it, so y'all need to go. And I feel like if that's the case... Like, why are y'all still wanting them to be here? Because at the end of the day, it's still a game, too. And if you want the couple that's literally locked in like this to stay to the end and possibly win, then that's y'all are idiots. So they both sitting there starting to act a fool. Aaron sitting there screaming and trying to cuss them out. Liv got up and was getting them all together. <laughs> this is when I was winning. Like, Liv won me over. Liv was protecting Janae. Janae was crying and she was upset because she felt like it's clear they wanted me to go home. Like, they was talking about me. And Serena was pretty much backing her. All the girls was backing her, and I loved it. I loved the fact that they all was literally backing Janae. We leave on a cliffhanger where it looks like Rob is gonna leave, but we all know he ain't with his fake ass, which we know. We know that you fake, and we know that you phony, because if you really found your connection, you really there for love, you would leave with her. Like, it's not about the show. It should be about the love, right? But it's not. But that's where we're at. I think that's all I really wanted to talk about. I'm gonna have a lot more notes next time. But please thumbs up the video, drop a comment down below, share the video, subscribe, turn the post notifications on whenever I drop the video so you'll know. And I will see y'all probably on Wednesday. I'm going to do the episode tomorrow. I'm probably going to do it play by play, but the episode tonight and tomorrow. No, I'm not. I'm lying. I'm not because I got an episode tonight and tomorrow. <laughs> so I'll see y'all on Wednesday. Peace.